okay, this is just a quick video how to add a name to a monogram like this where you need a difference or you can do an exclusion. In order to add a name on something like this, you want to bring, go over and select your, I've opened the SVG up first of all, obviously. Then I'll select my text tool and I'm going to hit caps, just put it all in caps. Uh, example. Oh, I'm going to type out rather than a name but so I type out my text I'll go up here and I just scroll through I'm just going to use sans serif it doesn't matter bold and I'm going to bring that down I'll change the color make it red so I can see what's going on you can make it any color you want I just want something to contrast the black so I can see what I'm doing I'm going to select here I'm going to go to my align and distribute. I've selected my text and the monogram. I'll go to align and distribute and I'll center it side to side. And then if I want to center it here, a trick I would do is go up and select my node tool, turn my snapping on. Then I will make a box and I'll select this point here and drag it down to this point here. You know, you just want to pick two points on this rectangle shape because I can't select the text in the monogram and center it up perfectly here so I draw this rectangle and it is centered perfectly same shape same height as this rectangle I would change the color it page it down so I can see what's going on then I can select my text and select that rectangle and then my line and distribute and center it on the vertical axis there now I will backspace. Uh, I guess technically that's centering on the horizontal axis. Anyway, now I've centered that side to side and up and down on my rectangle there. Now I'm going to select this text. It's still a text. I'm going to hit Shift Control Plus. Or you can go up and go Path, Object to Path. It's the same as Shift Control Plus. So now this is a group of seven objects. Now if I hit shift control G, that will ungroup that or you could go path, uh, no object, ungroup. So now those are seven individual paths. Now I'll hit shift control plus while they're all still selected. Now that's just one path. My text is now a path. Now I can select this monogram fire pit design and shift control minus and that has just cut out my text from my main design now I can just come in and add my bridges bridge the A, bridge the P and it would be ready to go uh, the way I'd do that just might as well finish up here I'll draw a rectangle big enough to bridge that piece there I'll select an inches Typically, I go at least an eighth inch wide. This letter is pretty big, so I'd probably just leave it there because that's not a bad size bridge. Now, I want to center that on that A, and this is all one piece, so I can't center it off the design. So, once again, with my snapping tool on, I would probably just select a rectangle tool, and snap it there and there. Now I'll grab this arrow and bring this over here. It'll snap here. Now it's snapped to this corner and this corner. I can change the color, page it down. Then I'll select this rectangle, then select this one, and center that. Now that's centered up on that A. Then I grab this rectangle, Control D, just to duplicate it, and I'll bring it over here on this P. Snap it right there. Then I drag it up just a little. That way it covers this span right here. And now I can select both of those by dragging the box around them. Shift Control Plus to convert them to a path. And then select the main design, Shift Control Plus. And now I've bridged those letters. So that's how I would add text to this file right here. Hopefully that helps. Thanks for watching.